Hi, my name is Mason. I'm going to walk you through how to set up your new exchange account that, more than likely if you're watching this video, Interlaced has just set up for you. In this particular video, I'm going to walk you through setting up Mail, Address Book, and iCal all in one fell swoop. Check out our other videos to learn how to change your account password, or view your mail online through a web browser, or set it up in Entourage. Let's jump in. I'm going to tap on Mail, and because I haven't set up any other accounts in Mail, it's going to bring me to this Setup window. If you have set up other accounts in Mail, such as a personal account, and you don't get this window, you can go up to File, and then Add Account to set up a new email address for this program. That said, I'm going to type in my email address and password, and I'm going to click Continue. If Mail brings up any messages like this, go ahead and click connect or continue or whatever to keep it moving along. Now we're going to set up your internal mail server. Your account type should be set to exchange 2007. The description here, the second entry, is optional. You can name it whatever you want. Mail doesn't require anything specific to be in here as a description. This is just for your sake. So I'm just going to call it exchange. You can call it whatever you want. Your incoming mail server, however, does have to be exact. You want it to be exactly like what it's going to show up on my screen, namely red001.mail.microsoftonline.com. Again, that's red001.mail.microsoftonline.com. Your username is going to be your full email address. Uh, so it's something at something dot something. You want your whole email address in there. Enter in your password that goes with this particular email address. And then the bottom two checkboxes are optional as well. If you want um, mail to set up uh, address book and iCal as well, then go ahead and leave these checked on and it'll set up your contacts and calendars with this exchange account on this computer. For this demonstration I'm going to leave those on and I'm going to click continue. It will check all our settings and bring us to a summary page. Check all of these things. Uh, this, of course, here will be your f your full name and your email account. But then these bottom four entries should be identical uh, to what you see on my screen right now. Um, both incoming and outgoing mail servers should be the same with SSL on for both. Make sure this bottom checkbox is checked to take your account online and click the Create button. You'll see mail start up. Uh, and it'll start loading in your exchange information. It'll add in any folders you have over here. Uh, we do need to go back to preferences though to um, finish setting up. It's not finished yet, so follow me. Go up to mail in the top left corner of your screen and down to preferences again. Click on your blue accounts button in the top left corner. Make sure your exchange account shows up here on the left side and click on it to make sure it's selected. And on the right side, you'll see your exchange account information. What we need to do here is copy your internal server into your external server. So you want both of these to be the same, red001.mail.microsoftonline.com. Okay. Uh, everything else can stay the same. If you want to change your first name uh, here, you can feel free to change it while we're here. Sorry, one more thing to set up the essentials on this account. Click on the Advanced tab on the right side. And you want to copy your internal server path here into your external server path. So these also should be the same. Okay. Uh, you can copy and paste them or just type them in all over again, but make sure they're identical to what you see on my screen here. Um, you want your ports to be the same as well. And you want to use SSL. So uh, your settings under accounts and your exchange account and then the advanced tab should be exactly what you see right here. Internal server path EWS slash exchange dot ASMX. Same as your external server path. Both ports should be 443. Use SSL should be on. Make sure those are uh, exactly like what you see them here. And that's it for your essential settings. Um, optionally, you can go to the mailbox behaviors tab in the middle 
and uncheck the store draft messages on the server. Um, if you find that you're having a lot issues with um, having many iterations of the same email in your drafts folder, then just uncheck this box and that should save you some trouble. Another optional setting, go to the general tab in the top left corner of your screen, click save to save the changes that we've made, and make sure that check for new messages is set to every minute here. That'll ensure, of course, that your email is up to date within 60 seconds as opposed to you and having to wait longer. That's it for setting up mail. Go ahead and close that. You'll see the rest of your mailboxes populating in here, as well as any email addresses or any emails that you have waiting for you um, showing up in your inbox. So here I've got one new message showing for me in my inbox. Um, I'm able to send, and uh, this indicates to me that my account is successfully set up. So go ahead and send yourself a test message just to make sure that it's working. That's it for mail. I'm going to go up here and quit mail. Um, because I had mail automatically set up address book and iCal, they should be um, mostly set up, but we need to open up these programs to make some final changes to make sure that they're working properly. So go ahead and open up the brown address book that is probably on your dock at the bottom. You'll see, um, in my case, my account, Exchange, right here, as well as uh, John Smith is in my Exchange uh, account, so I know that this has been successfully set up. I do want to go to Address Book and then to Preferences. Click on the Accounts tab at the top, and then click on my Exchange account right here. I want to make sure on the right side that Refresh Contacts is set to automatically. That means as soon as any changes are made to this Exchange account anywhere in the world, this computer will be automatically updated instantly. So go ahead and change Refresh Contacts to automatically. And go over to Server Settings right here. And just like we did in Mail, we want to copy your internal server to your external server and change the server path to be the same down below. We want to use SSL in both cases. So uh, just like in Mail, you want to make sure that your settings are exactly as you see on my screen, just the same under server settings for your Exchange account in Address Book. With that changed, you can go ahead and close Address Book. And uh, you should start to see your contacts being populated in your address book. If you have lots of contacts, um, it can take up to a few minutes to load them all, so don't freak out if they're not there immediately. We'll close address book and move on to iCal and do something very similar here. We'll go up to iCal, Preferences, click on the Accounts tab in the top left, click on your Exchange account, Make sure Refresh Calendars is set to every minute, so it's the most updated information. Go to the Server Settings tab, uh, just like before, and make sure that your internal server path and your external server path are the same as you see on my screen, just like all the other programs we've set up, as well as your server path, and use SSL as checked down in both places. With that done, you can close your preferences. You'll see your... Um, uh, calendar events from your exchange account start to populate. So this event right here is from my exchange account, so I know that this is successfully working. Go ahead and quit iCal, and uh, you have successfully set up your email, contacts, and calendars with your new exchange account. Good job.